been new. Welcome guys and girls. As we have talked about the DPS and skill power, we couldn't leave out stamina, toughness and armor. In update 1.6 both stamina and armor have been nerfed pretty hard, but what are the actual numbers behind it and how do these affect your build? We are going to talk about all of that in this video. One small disclaimer, we aren't going to talk about exotic damage resilience and all resistance. We'll leave that for another video, uh, as otherwise it would be too long of a video. But with that out of the way, let's get into the video. We'll divide it into three parts, stamina, armor and toughness. Toughness is a pretty hard concept because it doesn't only involve health armor. We'll draw you a picture. Toughness consists of maximum health and armor. The maximum health can be divided into base health, stamina, major attributes on your gear and gear mods. Next to your maximum health, your armor mitigates the damage done to you and this is calculated into the rest of your toughness. But before we're getting ahead of ourselves, let's see how everything works. Let's start with stamina. One point of stamina equals to 15 points of toughness, which is 50% of the ratio that electronics and skill power have, which is 1 to 30. This already makes stamina less effective to spec into than electronics or for that matter firearms. The minimum amount of stamina you can get is just under 2700, which translates to just over 40,000 toughness. This isn't a lot, but it's far from what you will have, as this is the minimum amount. The maximum amount of stamina you can get is just over 9500 stamina, which translates to just over 142,000 toughness. This still isn't a lot, but don't worry, there are still multiple ways to increase your toughness. You can, on your gear and gear mods, roll health as a major attribute. You can roll it on the chest, knee pads, holster and of course the 5 prototype mods. This results in just over 58,000 health that you can add to the equation. This brings us to around 201,000, but we haven't added the armor and base health to the equation. Let's talk about armor first. You can't just add armor to stamina, armor mitigates damage, or if you want to put it simply, it reduces the damage done to you. The armor has been nerfed immensely in patch 1.6. There's now only one source of armor and that's through your gear. Before you could roll armor as a major attribute on your gear and gear mods, but this has been replaced with health. The total armor you can roll on the gear pieces is just over 8000, and when calculated correctly this results in 33.5% damage mitigation. Before this was 70%, so you can see the decrease is more than half. This means that every 239 points of armor equal to 1% of damage mitigation. Let's add this to the equation. But in the meantime we shouldn't forget to add the base health. We're not completely sure, but the base health is just over 110,000. When calculated correctly, with the base health, stamina, health for major attributes and armor, you should be able to get just over 467,000 toughness. This is the maximum toughness. Of course this is very hard because you would need to have mid-maxed all of the stat rolls. So this is the base toughness you can have, but next to this there are alternative ways of increasing your toughness. Though these are all situational. We'll divide it into two categories. Category 1 increases your toughness and category 2 regenerates your health. Both are ways to increase your survivability, that's why we mention it. Let's take a look at category 1, the sources that revolve around health, damage mitigation and armor. Besides the stamina, health and armor, you can also get your toughness from gear talents like vigorous, robust, forceful and sturdy. Talents like battle buddy, critical save, evasive action and on the move. And major and minor attributes like all resistance, exotic damage resilience, status effect resistances. In the second category you can get increased health regeneration from gear talents as well like Relentless, Enduring, Refreshed, Rehabilitated, Recovered, Steadfast and Nimble. From one major attribute which is Health on Kill. Talents like Adrenaline and Combat Medic. Weapon talents like the Caduceus, Predatory, Self-Preserved and Sustained Weapon Talents. Medkits of course, Canned Food which 
which adds 40% healing and of course the three healing skills support station, first aid and recovery link. We know this is a lot of information to process so we're going to give our recommendations on how to use all of this in your build. First up, taking a look back at toughness you want around 5000 stamina at the maximum as it won't be useful if you spec into it more. Besides this, the primary attribute should essentially always be health on both your gear and gear mods. Try to roll the armor as high as possible, that kind of speaks for itself, but don't worry if you can't get the last few hundred armor points on the gear, as this will only account for about 3% of damage mitigation. Besides this, it kind of depends on the build you are running, you can never go wrong with Figurus, as this effectively adds 50% toughness to your build as long as you have a dedicated healer. Same goes for critical save and on a move. If you're really looking for the maximum survivability, your playstyle should involve using the canned food and of course your medkits, but you already know that. The simplest things you can do are running the healing skills, like the first aid, support station and recovery link. But also things like the mobile cover, ballistic shield and smart cover increase your survivability by quite a lot. In the end there are loads of options to increase your survivability, either through having a lot of health and damage mitigation, or through health regeneration. With that we want to end the video. We hope you have learned how stamina, armor and toughness work, where you can get it from and how you want to mid max your builds. Thanks for watching. As always, we appreciate any ratings and constructive feedback. Don't forget to check us out on social media. And if you want to stay up to date with all our videos, you can subscribe and even click the notification bell on our homepage. Good luck making your toughness build and peace.